doesn't happen a lot that I buy something and then have to wait for like a year to get it. But finally, after a year, I receive what's inside this box. So I want to take a quick look at it and compare it to something it might be able to replace or sort of is emulating. So let's open it up and see what's inside. By the way, the company that I bought this from was really secretive about the fact that it passed its CE marking. So it's now uh, allowed to be shipped to Europe. And since they had a very big backlog, they were like, yeah, we finally got the certificate, but please keep it quiet because we don't want to get overflown by orders again. So don't share it. Well, I thought that I could share it on this very small YouTube channel, since not a lot of people will see it anyway. So yeah, just the usual. usual packing material so great we have a box in a box if I need to flip this over there's another piece of tape cut I'm actually quite excited to see it after a year now. Finally, the color is amazing. And I really like this packaging. It's much safer because I saw some videos of other people unboxing these uh, keyboards. Of course, now you can see this is a Unicomp Mini M uh, that they were missing some of the keys or well, that some of the keys got loose. So we will see, but I think that overall not all of them are still in place. Oh, it's got a detachable cable, I think, does it? Oh, it's a really nice weight, actually. Can't wait, can't wait. Open it. Yeah, see, this is what I meant. Stop. It's not uncommon for keys or the spacebar to become this large during shipping. So here's the cable. I wonder what's the safest way to open it. Wow. There it is. It's really shiny. And the white of the keys is much whiter than I expected. Of course, if you're used to well, using old computers, you're used to faded whites. But this. I'm scared to touch it. Oh my god. This is a proper Model M keyboard. Although I think that the keys are a bit more loose. Maybe this is what a new Model M felt like. So let's take a closer look. As you can see the keys are really white. We have a Windows key to control Alt. On this side we also have a Windows key. We have the arrows. Here we have some of the function keys, print screen, print screen, scroll lock, all the usual stuff. These lights, I wonder, because uh, I think they were blue and I'm not sure if I'll like that color, but overall I'm really, really, really excited to see this keyboard. And this keyboard will probably 
I'm not sure, but I think we'll probably be replacing this very dusty and well, it's not really old. I think I have it for two years now. And I really like space saving keyboards. So I was always on the lookout for an original Model M space saving keyboard, but they're really hard to find. And certainly on the Dutch version of eBay, they rarely, rarely show up. And when they do, they go for like 400 bucks. Well, I wouldn't say this was cheap also, but uh, now we have a new one that I can actually use and like type on. Uh, I think it will be a bit noisy. Okay, the keyboard I'm already using or was using until now was also very noisy so it's time to plug it in so now they want to know which key is next to the shift key set Let's get out my uh, Model M. I always have a Model M close by, of course. As you can imagine. In case of an emergency, it's always nice to have a Model M present. This is a Model M that I got with my PS2 Model 16 and I got for free, so that's awesome. And what I meant uh, just now when I said it's really white is of course when you take a look at this uh, IBM PS2 you can see that the colors are more beige than white uh, but I want to do an overall comparison of the sound so I'll remove the USB cable So let's do a quick comparison of what they sound like and if there's a difference in sound and feel. Overall, I would prefer this one since, of course, it feels newer than this one. This one, you can feel that the keys, uh, when you type on them, have been used a lot. This keyboard was put to the test and this is just a new, fresh one. Although, maybe I more like the, uh, the space between the keys. They feel that they type a little bit more freely. But I forgot to show you what the color of the... LEDs is, but I think everybody knows by now. Mm, they're blue. So to quickly summarize, I'm very happy to add this Mini M to my collection of keyboards and to actually start using this as my daily driver. Actually, I'll edit this video on it probably. Although one thing I'm quite worried about is these white keys. I think over time, and certainly judging my other keyboard that was my daily driver and how dusty it got that it will be very difficult to keep these keys pristine and white if i'm going to use it if i want to keep it like this i'll probably have to store it in plastic and stuff to keep it nice like this but that was just a quick look at something new that i added to my collection something retro new and it's also now available in the european union because it got a european certificate but please don't tell your Unicomp you got that information from me okay i know that only 10 people will see this but if one of you guys look at me if one of those 10 persons will tell Unicomp, they'll probably come to my door and hit me with a malem and i'm not sure if i'll survive that but for now thanks for watching and i'm gonna continue enjoying my keyboard Thank you.